So this morning I'm having matcha oats, just uh, one small zucchini that I grated up and a third of a cup of rolled oats and then two tablespoons of this Nutiva hemp protein. I recently got this on iHerb. I'm really enjoying hemp protein, it's just hemp seeds. I know you can buy the whole hemp seeds and use them, but it's kind of convenient having it in this powder form and I like it because it doesn't have any sodium. So that's nice <laughs> and I've been enjoying it. I mixed in, of course, the mushroom matcha drink that I showed from the Four Sigmatics with the lion's mane and ginger. I showed this in my recent uh, little morning everyday routine. You guys seem to enjoy that. I'm really liking it. So I just mixed that in and I've topped it with some frozen organic raspberries and blackberries from Creo Hair. That's what I'm having. There's also some cinnamon in there. And Totoro with a little Shaga elixir. Breakfast of champions. Well, hey guys, hope your week is going well. So I am up and I'm gonna tell you it is early and where would I be without Totoro? Look at Totoro, he, he just uh, is a mess right now. <laughs> just inhaling the coffee to a point where Totoro is getting messy. I've got a little of that Four Sigmatics Chaga Elixir in there. I'm chugging on Chaga. Um, and I just had my green tea Zotes. Those bad boys are getting me through the dearth of cauliflower rice that Costco has been experiencing as of late. Really annoying. Costco, please get in the rice cauliflower. And you know, I was I was doing the math when I buy the actual cauliflower head and chop it up myself. I don't save any more money using using just plain cauliflower. It it's not any cheaper than buying the riced cauliflower, the organic riced cauliflower at Costco. So they need to get that back in stock. I hate it when they do that. They take take something away from me. It's like it's like being grounded again. Skincare update. I am on my what is it? third tube of altruist and I'm still rocking the color science mineral UV shield and three in one eye I'm on my second tube still of that but um, I finished up the Aisha mommy um, sunscreen that I was using before as kind of my on the go and I got this Aisha kiss me and free sensitive UV gel SPF 49 PA I think it's three pluses as the UVA rating this is actually a mineral sunscreen I believe it has zinc titanium dioxide I didn't see any chemical filters listed on it uh, it does have technically fragrance because it's got like chamomile extract so if you are truly allergic to fragrance chamomile is a flower flowers make the same types of antigens and hap they're called haptins that your immune system will recognize and can potentially cause problems for you um, but it is frequently in a lot of cosmetic products so anyways yesterday I got something in my PO box that I want to share with you all it's um, a little treat so I'm excited to open it up for you all I was I was gonna open it last night but I decided to save it for you <laughs> all right so this is a company called mint mongoose and it is a jewelry subscription service where um, it's $12 a month and you get to um, get once a month, a cute little box that comes like this that has three pieces of jewelry in it that um, you can kind of customize to your choosing if you're somebody who likes gold or, or silver, if you like dangly earrings, they have watches, you can sort of um, tell it what you like. And every three months you also get a free gift um, as part of the subscription service. It's 12 bucks a month and they do ship internationally. Um, and uh, what else can I tell you about it? There's also like a bougier version called Mint Mongoose Black where you can get four, um, four pieces instead. And that one is $22.99. You still get to customize that one, but you, in addition to getting four pieces a month, you get two, two accessories that um, come, come instead, of the, instead of the one, I guess. Um, and oh, and you get a free gift every three months. So you get a free gift every three months and then you get two fun accessories that you get to add on. They've got things like socks and makeup um, and hygiene products. But the box itself that, that I've got here is a little jewelry box. And I just love how adorable it is because it has one of these old fashioned wax seals. Can you guys see that? There we go. That's their logo. I love those. Ugh. All right, so let me just slip the ribbon off. But 
they, but the company reached out to me and they offered me a coupon code to share with you all if you're interested in getting one of these boxes where you can get your first box for $10 instead of the $12 and you also get free shipping within the United States. Um, but outside of the United States, I believe their shipping cost is uh, $10 anywhere outside of the US. I'm just being very careful to take this cute little ribbon off. You know, a fun fact, my mom calls Ty B. Mongoose when he gets a little hyper and excited, so <laughs> part of me thinks of Ty B. when I hear it, mint mongoose. <laughs> okay, let's open it up. Now, in this box, in addition to the three pieces, um, they also included for me, oh cool, a Werther's. <laughs> I love Werther's, thank you. I don't think they're vegan though, but I will find that a good home. <laughs> Um, yay, it's here. Here's their little card that comes with it. You can, if you follow them on Instagram, you can tag your, your stuff, hashtag mint mongoose, and they'll enter you to win, win a free box a month. That's cute. Now, in addition to the three pieces, they also sent me an additional piece to share, to, to share and show you guys, but if you got the box, you would only be getting the three pieces. Comes in this uh, nice knit tissue paper. So let's just open it up. First up, we have some earrings. Each of the pieces is wrapped up. I feel like uh, the Home Shopping Network right now, you guys. <laughs> I love, how hypnotic is the, is the Home Shopping Network or QVC when they do the jewelry? When I was in middle school, one time my mom and I got hypnotized by um, one of those jewelry, jewelry commercials and it was like, they were talking about a Pod Parasha stone. I have no idea what Pod Parasha is, but it was, it was pretty hypnotic. <laughs> And here's the matching necklace. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, and then there's also another necklace in here. Oh, this third necklace looks like something my mom would like to wear in the fall, actually. Um, good taste. When I was younger, my mom really got into this book called Color Me Beautiful, I think it was called. And everybody, and it was all about how your skin tones and hair color and everything um, dictated what sort of color scheme your wardrobe should be. If you were fall, a winter, or a spring, and I think my mom was a fall. Um, and so this reminds me of, of a kind of coloration that she might gravitate towards. It's pretty. We're getting very sleepy. This is like ASMR jewelry unboxing. <laughs> hey. All right, and so let's see what the additional jazzy piece they sent me is. This is... Oh yes, this is cool. It's um convertible earrings. So um, it's two earrings that um, you can switch out into these little, this little plate thing. Let me show you all. So there's this pretty little flower. And then if you want, you can jazz it on up with with this jewelry backing here. So you can stack, make it blingy. And then it also comes with this pretty pink stone. I like that one a lot too. And again, you can convert it out and overlay it with this if you like. It just goes like. 
Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. <laughs> Cool. So yeah, check the description box if you're interested. You can get a, you know, you can save a few bucks on your first box. Um, but that's fun. So thanks, uh, Mint Mongoose. So anyways, I am going to head on out and then later today I get to run to a Costco and a Kroger. So I will take you guys along and share with you a grocery haul. So stick around. <laughs> But I'm hoping to get some of those beet chips at Costco again. Those things, I, I really have to ration those because I, I want to inhale the entire Costco size bag of them. But I had a fun thought the other night. I was running on the treadmill and my new gym has TVs on the actual treadmills whereas my other gym had TVs hanging up in the background and I could never hear them. And I'm not really a big TV watcher, but I do like somebody droning on in the background while I run. It's just, I don't know, sometimes it's nice and occasionally I like to look at things. And I've been watching Bravo. <laughs> I love Bravo. They have a lot of, you know, entertaining, entertaining sort of trash TV. And there's this one show in there on there about like these, uh, this yacht crew. I, I forget what it's called, Yacht Med or something. It's kind of intriguing. Um, and it's kind of funny because they make fun of the guests on the yacht behind their back and stuff and there's this one crazy guest in one of the episodes that I was watching the other day um, well I shouldn't say crazy that's not a very nice word but um, you know demanding <laughs> There's one very demanding uh, guest on their on their ship who requests multicolored gumballs. Um, she has some sort of thing with multicolored gumballs, and they happen to only have white gumballs when she first gets on the yacht, and she has a she has a bit of a conniption fit over it, and the crew is panicking because they obviously want to keep the guest happy. And you know they're they're cursing her behind her back. It's quite comedic, but in my mind I was thinking, oh, if they only had if they only had some turmeric on that boat and some beets, then they could get her rainbow rainbow uh, gumballs quite easily because turmeric will stain things a vibrant yellow <laughs> and uh, beets will stain things pink. So they could at least have pink, yellow, pink and yellow. But she was insistent that the gumballs be colored and not white, uh, that she did not like. White was the only gumball that she did not like. I mean, a gumball is a gumball, but to each his own. She said, yes, I like to see the multicolors. They make me happy, and the white gumball does not do that. You're on a yacht. Like, why is a gumball going to determine your happiness? <laughs> you know I don't like to show children in the vlogs because, I don't know, if I were a parent and I, you know, happen to go on YouTube and randomly see my kid on an on a video without my consent, I might be livid, okay? I mean, the internet is not, not always a friendly place. But there is a child in this parking lot who is rocking a UV, well, she's rocking a baseball cap that's got a substantial brim on it. I just wanna go up there and hug her mother, who by the way, mom is wearing, wearing long sleeves and a broad brimmed hat. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You family in the uh, the Honda, Honda, Hyundai, 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 not Honda, Hyundai. I see the H and I think Honda, but that one's a Hyundai. So this is the um, Kiss Me and Free. And I have already put on a substantial base layer approximately 20 or so minutes ago. I'm just reapplying, I'm just applying this so you guys can see what it looks like in natural lighting. It's my first impression. For a mineral sunscreen, it goes on um, pretty low cast. Hey guys, so I just got back from Costco and um, you know, update on the on the uh, Kiss Me and uh, UV, whatever it's called. I kind of like it, but I the, the cast is pretty noticeable, even on me. I think if you are a darker skin type, I wouldn't, I don't think you're gonna be pleased with it. And it feels a little um, viscous going on, like it's got kind of a kind of a thickness thickness to it. It has titanium dioxide, zinc oxide. I don't I don't see any um, chemical filters in the ingredient list. For those of you who are concerned, it does have uh, tert-butyl alcohol in it, um, but that you know is just kind of in there, almost as a just to kind of keep things 
keep their things in their appropriate form. And I don't think it's a problematic ingredient. It's down very low on the ingredient list, so you know it may not be problematic for you. But overridingly so, I think the major problematic ingredients in that one are all of the flowery extracts that are basically fragrance. But otherwise, it's okay. Um, but anyways, I just got back from Kroger. I'm rocking my little mom gives earrings here. Um, let me head on in and I'll show you what I got. All right, full on grocery haul. Now that I have all this counter space, you all can see it in one continuum versus broken up chunks. From Costco, seriously, they've really been slacking on their stock of things that I like, namely cauliflower rice. So I ran in there really quickly and got the fresh and quick spinach. And of course, couldn't resist another bag of the crunchy dried beet chips. I am, I'm really a fan of these. I need to just learn how to make them myself, but they are so good. <laughs> I like these, they're a little bit thinner than the Rhythm Superfood beet chips as far as the, the cut. They cut them a little bit thinner, so there are these little air bubbles in them. Really nice and nice and crispy. <laughs> Then from Kroger, I got a head of yellow cauliflower or orange cauliflower. I've been enjoying this. Um, it's just kind of nice to have a little bit of vibrancy for the cauli. Then I also got garlic, onion, and a red bell pepper. Whenever I see this trifecta of onion, garlic, bell pepper, it reminds me of Jay Leno. It was back in the 80s. He was in a... Um, Doritos commercial for Cool Ranch. He'd like throw each of these ingredients into a brown paper bag and chuckle some sentiment about Doritos. I can't recall, but it was very compelling advertising. It definitely made you want to uh, to eat some Doritos. So good job, Jay Leno. Um, anyways, moving right along, I got my radishes. I am quickly addicted, becoming addicted to these. I just bake them and they taste like potatoes. They really do. Um, they're very delicious. Um, I also got another bag of pinto beans. I've really been enjoying making refried beans, <laughs> oil-free refried beans, uh, vegan. They're really easy and hearty and delicious. Only 83 cents for this 13 serving bag. It is a deal. Then I also got some of these petite purple potatoes. I wanted to get some of those organic sweet potatoes I've been enjoying from Kroger, but they didn't have any that were not jumbo size, so I just went with the purple petites. I rather enjoy these quite a bit. And I also got a box of the raspberry flavor of True Lemon Lemonade. This is one that I don't believe I have had yet, so I went ahead and got that. We'll see how it is. I really like the... Um, the uh, wild berry one and the watermelon ones. Then somewhere along the move, I don't know, I chucked the baking powder that I had. I don't know, I was too lazy to put it in a box. I think it was basically close to empty, so I parted ways with it. And it happened to be on sale for, I think, 50 cents at Kroger. So I went ahead and got it, and I was kind of sold by the packaging. Kroger's really done a cute job with this sort of mod writing they have on here. Um, and I got a mashing baking soda. <laughs> I know, don't ask me why. I have a huge bag of baking soda, uh, but I just thought this little box was so cute. I, I just bought it. Um, I, my, I think I'll put it in, uh, in my freezer maybe to deodorize, but <laughs> I know. And so I decided to bite the bullet and go ahead and buy some actual beets since I seem to be quickly becoming hooked on beets. And I got these organic yellow beets. They've always tempted me. I'm a little intimidated by them, but I think they'll be relatively easy to prepare. I think I just wrap them in the, the beets in foil and bake them and then rub my fingers on them to get the skin off and then slice them and do what I shall with them. And don't you worry, I will be consuming the greens on there. Um, I, I know they can they are edible, not to go to waste, so I will ingest the whole thing. And then last but not least, I got some gala apples. Or excuse me, red delicious. Red delicious, not gala. I got five of those bad boys. So yep, that is my grocery haul this week. Plant-based. I don't know, I'm just singing a fun song. I'm gonna put all this away. 
yeah but the apples and the garlic and i want to say the something else that i got all were on ibotta and overall i just scanned my ibotta receipts and i got like a dollar 75 a rebate <laughs> i love ibotta it's just so gratifying but anyways guys i have some work to take care of tonight so i'm going to conclude the vlog here it's getting to that to that duration <laughs> um but i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow